how to do corporate housing. Did you know that you can turn your Airbnb, your vacation rental, or your short-term rental business into a corporate housing business with high-end luxury clients that will pay you even more than you are getting right now? Yeah, well, it's absolutely true. I'm gonna share with you all of the details on how you transform your short-term rental business into a true corporate housing business. Let's go. Noel. Yeah, she can fix that. If you gotta get it done, no, you need to do it better. Well, she can fix that. Yeah, she can fix that. Investment to get back, trying to get a big stack. She can fix that. Let's fix that. I'm gonna share with you a simple step-by-step -step process on how to start, launch, or grow a corporate housing business. I'm gonna give you a simple process to furnish and put these properties together so that people want to stay in them and they are highly in demand. And I'm gonna share with you three big secrets to getting listed on the best corporate rental sites in less than 72 hours. So let's first talk about what is corporate housing. Some of you guys may know that corporate housing are furnished rental properties. So many of you guys already are familiar with businesses like Airbnb or short-term rentals where you come into a property and it's fully furnished, it has towels, dishes, plates, a washer, a dryer, and it's somewhere that you could stay at for months at a time, but you do not have to actually move into it. So many times people will stay in an Airbnb for just a weekend or just a week for their vacation, but people also stay in Airbnbs, short-term rentals for many, many months at a time. Literally, this can be a very lucrative business, especially if you've already started thinking about this business and you really want to take it to the next level with corporate housing. So the first thing that you want to do before you get into corporate housing is really get into an Airbnb business. I know this sounds crazy. I'm telling you to start a different business to get into this business, but it will be so much easier for you if you do it the way that I'm saying. So let me explain. So I started off in my real estate career doing wholesaling, fixing and flipping, and then I got rental properties. I would rent my properties out vacant and unfurnished for a monthly amount. And I was making about three to $400 per month profit on every single property. I thought I was doing amazing. And at one point I had over 40 properties bringing in six figures, but I realized that was a lot to maintain all of those properties. So when I learned about Airbnb, a student of mine taught me how I could furnish the properties, put the beddings in there, put the towels, the kitchens, the plates, and all of those items, and people would pay me for nightly rates. Instead of renting it vacant and unfurnished for a monthly fee, they would pay me per night. And in fact, I could make more than three times what I was making on my vacant rentals that I had. I realized that this was an immediate benefit for me, and this is where I should be investing. I realized that I didn't need all of those properties to make that same amount of money. Just imagine if one property makes me $300, but another property on Airbnb makes $1,000, just think you don't need the same amount of properties to make the same profit. Obviously doing more of the Airbnbs is gonna be way more profitable than doing just the long-term rentals. Additionally, if there's properties that I own, I'm still getting the value, the equity, the appreciation, the tax deductions, all of the same things exist whether I do a long-term rental or I do it on Airbnb. So it made quick sense for me to, for me to change my entire portfolio and really start focusing on short-term rentals or Airbnbs. But that's not where it ends. Like I said, when I converted most of my portfolio and sold off some of the properties that I wouldn't use as Airbnbs, I started making even more money with less properties. <laughs> yeah, let me say that again. I literally had less properties and was making more money because I was making more money on each property. So when you add in corporate housing, which pays even more per night than Airbnb, this is an entire game changer. So let me tell you how you get into corporate housing after you do Airbnb. Let me tell you about North One. They are amazing business account and a perfect place to get your business checking account. North One is a business banking platform inspired by small business owners for small business owners. With on-call support and tailor-made tools, they help you level up your financial health and help you build a business that's built to last. 
Additionally, one of the reasons why I absolutely love North One is because they have seamless integrations. I can seamlessly connect the most popular accounting, e-commerce, and point of sales tools to get a clear view of my entire cash flow. Make sure you click the link below and get your North One account right now. So now that you know that Airbnb and having an Airbnb business is the best way to start corporate housing, let me explain to you why. So many in the corporate housing companies, corporations, insurance companies that are looking for properties to put their employees, their contractors, or insured people that have had damaged costs to their home, they will start to stay in your properties. That is what corporate housing really is about. Airbnbs is more peer to peer, so it's going to be mostly consumers going to other consumers. But this is how you get established as a host. This is how you get established as someone that has a short term rental business. When you do Airbnb first, you will have the advantage of having reviews on Airbnb, photos, listing, and just the experience of working as a host and taking in guests. You'll learn about how much money it costs you to put toilet tissue or by how many towels you have to buy. You'll start to get reviews from guests, so you'll learn where you need to improve, what are some things that you can do better, and you can really make a great business before you ever start to approach corporations and companies as a corporate housing provider. Okay, so doing Airbnb first is really just a benefit for you to get into the business, learn what you're doing, and have something to show the corporate housing companies that you're interested in taking on, that you already have experience doing this, and that you are successful doing this for others. So now, now that you're an established Airbnb host and you really get the business, now it's time to take your properties and put them on corporate housing websites. Literally, there are so many different websites that you can put your property on, especially if you already have them on Airbnb and you can prove that you have experience as a short-term rental host. Literally, I'm gonna put on the screen and you're just gonna see it scroll right here, three major sites that I absolutely love for corporate housing. What you're gonna see is that the first one is the major corporate housing website, and this is where you can list properties for free or for a very inexpensive price. The other two sites are ones that I have used in the past, but the first one that I'm giving you is absolutely the best one for me. You just need to show that you have experience doing this, and they will allow you to put your photos, your pricing, your properties, and all of that on their website. In fact, I have a student that got paid $30,000 for just three months of her property. She had a property that she was using as an Airbnb. Let me give you this example because I absolutely love it and I'll even show you a quick video of her. Hey guys, uh, Tammy Rob Miles here with Miles Properties. Just wanted to share something really exciting with you today. We've been working really hard on a new piece of short-term rental and we've entered the market into corporate rental and uh, we're pretty excited. We got our first paycheck today. So I don't know if you can read this, but we just got a paycheck for $30,000. Read it. Three, zero, $30,000. Actually, $3,800 plus a $1,500 deposit. So we're going to have someone in our home for three solid months at $10,100 a month. That's money. She actually had a property that she had on Airbnb, and then she went to put it on corporate housing sites, and State Farm literally booked her property for one of their insured guests. And the great thing about corporate housing is you get your money immediately. You don't wait till the end of the lease. You don't wait till when they first book. Sites just like Airbnb, you get your money those first couple of days. So when the person checks into the property, even if it's for one month, two months, or three months, they give you all of the money up front. So literally you can see she got a check for like $30,000 because they paid $10,000 a month for three months and she received all of the money right up front. Now mind you, this was a property that she was renting out on Airbnb for just a couple hundred dollars per night. So putting it on corporate housing turned out to be three times as profitable as Airbnb. And as I told you before, Airbnb is three times as profitable as renting out a vacant property. So now you can see why anybody that does real estate would want to do corporate housing. So in order to get a lot of this done, you are going to need a business checking account. 
go to North One Banking. You will see a link below that you can use and you literally will get a $10 credit when you open and fund account. It's absolutely amazing. I absolutely love North One. I literally have my own business checking account with them as well. You can get started in just three minutes. And as I've mentioned, there are millions of ATMs across the world that you can use your North One debit card at. This is an amazing thing that you don't wanna miss out. So please click the link below and get your checking account now so you can really take your business to the next level. I just wanna make sure that you have all of the resources, all of the tools, and all of the knowledge that you need to be successful. This is Noelle, to your success.